Have you ever deployed a Next.js app and regretted the decision? Or maybe you're skipping Next.js when it could save your project. I'll show you exactly when Next.js is your best friend and when it becomes your worst enemy. I've made both mistakes and I'll help you avoid them. The wrong choice here won't just waste your time, it could force you to rewrite your entire application. I've seen teams spend months refactoring because they made the wrong decision. A common misconception about Next.js is that it's a perfect tool for everything and that it could be picked no matter what is needed. Let's take a real example. Imagine you're building an e-commerce site. You need fast product page loads, CEO for Google, and image optimization for product photos. Next.js handles all of these out of the box. Next.js also has a great support for internationalization. These benefits Next.js provides out of the box will give all the modern features your site needs while reducing the required development time. It gives you the best of both worlds. On the other hand, there are places where Next.js does not shine. When making a simple single page application, using Next.js would be over engineering that unnecessarily complicates the development process. If you're making internal tools like private dashboards or management applications, these applications require no SEO, which makes lots of Next.js functionalities useless. Another example is if you require lots of client side functionalities. Let me give you an example. Imagine building a drawing app where users can add shapes in real time, change colors instantly, and have undo and redo actions. Each of these actions need client-side state. With Next.js, you end up making almost every component with use client directive, defeating the purpose of using Next.js in the first place. Another reason on when not to choose Next.js is when there will be lots of complex functionalities like using WebSockets. Using Next.js as a server that has to handle WebSockets is not a good idea. When having complex functionalities, the best way to handle them is with a separate backend that you are proficient in. It can be Express.js, Nest.js, Adonis.js, FastAPI, Django, Laravel, but it has to be a separate backend that will handle the complex logic. Before you go, here's your decision checklist. Choose Next.js if SEO matters, if you need fast initial loads, and if server-side rendering is crucial. Skip Next.js if you're building a simple single-page application, if you need complex real-time features, and if client-side state is your priority. I'd love to hear your Next.js stories. Drop them in the comments below. I read all of them. If this saved you from making the wrong choice, leave a like and subscribe for more real-world development advice, and see you in the next one.